unpaid volunteering every month for a year for 18 year olds. If the Conservatives win, weekends will look a lot different. Having it enforced feels like a punishment. The volunteering should be a choice. Legally enforceable and therefore divisive. I did Duke of Edinburgh, so I really enjoyed volunteering and I did it for many years. However, compulsory volunteering is kind of contradictory and having to do it compulsory it takes away from the point of doing it in the first place a little bit. Part of the policy too, recruiting into the armed forces. I'm not going to lie and say that no 18 year old wouldn't like the appeal because I did air cadets as a child and like a lot of them really wanted to enter the armed forces and the Royal Air Force and things like that. So there are young people that want to do it, but they go ahead and do it. They don't need policies like this to sort of force them or encourage them to do so. The most sensational item of news in the life of the present government is under Undoubtedly, the announcement of the ending of the call-up. Post-Second World War, more than two million were called up. Sunak's plan is for national service again, but not as we know it, with 30,000 18-year-olds on military placement. But it would be voluntary. In reality, however, if you're in the armed services, you could be sent to war. And while national service is popular in other parts of the world, those countries aren't really engaged in active operations the way the UK sometimes is. It's aimed at voters with national service nostalgia, key to winning this Northampton South seat. If we could get some of the young people of the country um, helping out with causes and things like that, that'd be fantastic. It would impact my opinions on who I'd vote for and everything like that, but I need to read up on it more to find out what option's the best one to go for. If I was given the opportunity back then, yeah, I'd have gone for it. So I think it's a good idea. I think it would give youngsters a chance to do something as opposed to not. A headline grabbing policy costing two and a half billion pounds. Easy promises, critics say, when the Conservatives may not need to deliver. Adele Robinson, Sky News.